Sammy Davis Jr. was a world of wisdom and a world of wisdom about show business. He really knew show business more than anybody that I, you could ever talk to. You know, he could articulate on it and everything too, you know. But uh, he had a sign hanging in his dressing room that he couldn't pay heed to. But it was very profound. It said, I don't know the meaning of success, but I do know the meaning of failure. It's when I try to make everybody love me. And you can't do that. If you're a bartender, a truck driver, a bricklayer, you can't do that. Sammy tried every single night. He tried to make everybody in that audience love him. I, I never seen anybody work that hard for an audience, you know. But he, he, he just, you can't make everybody love you. The one mistake most comedians make, and, and I include myself, you know, but I had to learn to get out of this, is that we try to compare ourselves to other comedians. Gee, I started with Nick. I started with Bill or James. And, and, and they're doing this show. And I started out with them at the same time, and they're ahead of me or something like that. You know, you cannot compare yourself to another comedian. There's a great Hindu proverb that says, there's nothing noble about being superior to another man. True nobility lies in being superior to your former self. Am I a better friend than I was last year? Am I a better father than I was last year? Am I a better son? Am I a better husband? Am I a better comedian than I was last year? That's your only competition your whole life. Listen to your tapes. Have I grown in the last year? Have I grown? Have I, have I taken my act to a different place? You know, that's the only competition you have, is your former self.